everyone, and welcome back to the Kings of Horror. Hey, Bibbs, how you doing? I'm pretty good, Ryan. How are you? Let's let the audience know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kings of Horror. In this delightful month of October, Bibbs and I are looking at the works of Stephen King on the big screen. That's right. Some of us aren't even flubbing our lines. And today, we're looking at the Rage <laughs> Carry 2! <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> All right, that about does it. But <laughs> Crap, fuck. <laughs> All right. The movie is an absolute masterpiece. Uh, I think that the fuck, fuck, and fuck. Give me I one second. I think that too. I think it's great. <laughs> I think it fucks a lot. Every day this week, we're looking at the works of Stephen King on the big screen. What? You said week. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> John Cusack plays a writer, surprise, who chronicles the history of <laughs> Damn it! Next week, we take a look at Pet Cemetery. Sometimes, dad is better. You know, one more time? Yes. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kings of Horror. Every day this month. <laughs> wow. I was like, it would've been great! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kings of Horror. And, uh, oh, sorry. Do it again. I was about to say, and I'm Ryan Turk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we will be back tomorrow uh, with the next film in the Stephen King cinematic cycle, Cujo. Buff. Why am I barking? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do better than that. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> I like we just that. cut in the middle of that. I just gave you a really weird look. <laughs> I know, it's like, oh. <laughs> Come back tomorrow when Kings of Horror will watch Creepshow. Is it Creepshow? Christine is a stylish and I think very super cool fuck my life. Hang on a second, let me just get a look at my bullet points. If you haven't been following, Bibbs here and I are taking every day this month to review a Stephen King theatrical. You lost that one a while ago. But, ah, yeah. fuck you. While zipping around in his motorized wheelchair, dubbed Silver Bullet, Marty survives a whale, a whale chair. <laughs> <laughs> George Romero writes and Michael Gornick fucking directs. <laughs> I mean, look at the vagina dentata. I know, love that. Just be like, uh, welcome to the Kings of Horror. Uh. Uh. <laughs> That's for Tales from Hood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Kings of Horror. Every day this month, Bibbs and I are reviewing Stephen King Fuck Me's. All right, one more time, sorry. It's a very interesting show. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Come back tomorrow for Kings of Fucking, I was going to say summer. <laughs> gonna say. Or however, dividing lines are being drawn among the survivors, and Drayton soon son. <laughs> <laughs> Drayton and his son soon realize I'm starting to sound like Walter Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the store, dividing lines are being drawn. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> fuck! 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 I read it last night over and over, and it was fine! <laughs> the kid cracks me up. It's so I think it, it was the one scene where he's in the room with Sam Fuller and, and Michael Moriarty, and he goes, "You shut the fuck up!" <laughs> and he just walks away. Playmate. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. He did okay. But when Lewis loses his son, things take a warped and tragic turn. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck my fucking synopsis. <laughs> Should I do that over? All right, uh, we will be back next morrow with a... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Kings of Horror. We're reviewing Stephen King films this month. <laughs> George Stark seems to have taken on a life of his own, but what does he want? There you go, fuck you, there yeah. you go. Yeah. It's quick, yeah, quick and easy, dirty. Easy to edit. Quick and dirty.